right now here Airbnbs can go up to between 150 to 200 US a night Welcome to Ocean Point. So I'm gonna give you a tour of the clubhouse and then we go over to the Monday Yacht. So from here, let me show you right that open lot right there, that's gonna be a commercial spot. So there's gonna be um, pharmacies, food place, stuff like that for persons. Persons living here will have first preference to rent in the shop over there. Right there. So this is the management office. Currently, guys on Realty is the property manager for Ocean Point. are currently being used by the construction workers but in the future there will be barbershop, daycare center and a beauty salon. There's gonna be a daycare center to that side. So here is closed now, so we're gonna walk around the other side to get access to the food. are going to be converted to rental spaces for homeowners actually. Okay. So it's just like a village to yourself. Right, so everything is gonna be here. You don't have to leave a month to go be an artist. Mm -hmm. This is the gym but it's not open or it's not ready as yet. Pool house, adequate seating. There's gonna be a play area right there with a picket fence in around okay. and then that is gonna be the daycare center. This is the lounge area for Ocean Park. Basically most of the necessary things that you're going to need if you want to kind of chill out. There's going to be a television to be added to. As well. Adequate lighting, pool table. The 10 phases at Ocean Point. Currently we're up to phase 8 in building. So that's the construct where they're constructing now. That's phase 8. The phases 1 to 4 have persons who have occupied already so the other persons we are waiting on them to we're doing the handover process now so the model unit where we're gonna mm -hmm. look at the picket fencing comes around the unit the your lot comes with the picket fencing around it's that two bedroom two bath model unit the grill that you're looking at right there that is optional but if you're gonna do a grill design you have to follow that exact design so what if i want to change that's against the restricted covenant. Okay. So it comes with a double carport. They start making the single ones. So this is the entrance of the model unit. Alright, so this is the living slash dining for the model unit. Oh. The model unit is approximately 939 and going down kitchen. The kitchen comes with the granite countertop, soft clothes cupboards, and have a nice view of the sink. Double sink as well. So this is the laundry room. As you can see, it's big enough for a washer and dryer. And you know, if you get a double stacker, you have more space. Yeah. Storage. This is the backyard. The lots down here can be approximately between 4,000 and 5,000 square feet. So you know, it's big enough for you to go this one. So we have approved expansion plans. You're still gonna have to get approval from the parish council, mm -hmm. but we, you have to get approval from us before you can do any formal expansion. 
And with the expansions, you can expand to the back, but you cannot go upstairs. Unless you have one of the units that are to the extreme back of the community, they won't be obstructing any views at all. Okay. Another question? Um, as you mentioned before, if I want to... Colors cannot change either. The colors of the houses, you can't mm -hmm. change the, color, the colors of the houses. You can't change the design of the front of the house. You can only change the design of the back, but it's through an approval, approval process as well. Okay. All right, so this is the living slash dining kitchen. Um, right here, we have a linen closet. As you know, adequate space, mm -hmm. towels and stuff that you can store. And then additional storage up top. So to the back is the master bedroom. The master bedroom in these houses are actually a bit smaller than the guest bedroom. This is 11 by 11, the guest bedroom is actually 13 by 11. Okay. So this is, is the ensuite bathroom. Why is that so? Um, because of the addition of the ensuite bathroom. That's why it's here. So the bathroom comes with what's in here. So the glass shower, the rain shower and the granite countertops that comes with the bathroom. Right, so this is the guest bathroom, mm -hmm. same design as the master, and this is the guest bedroom. A bit bigger. So this is the closet. closet. Mm -hmm. Let me give it some more. Most of the visitors who actually come, they say what they, what they want to do is actually move the door from here and put it here and turn this into the master instead of this one because it's smaller. The unit itself, it doesn't come with the AC, the ceiling fan or the recess lighting, but that can be at an additional cost for the homeowner if you want to. Um, if I am a young professional, what all cost, how much will it cost? So for the two bedroom, two bath, that's 18.5 and for the three bedroom, two bath, that's 26 million dollars. Okay. Comes with all the amenities and it's, it's, it's a good buy. Alright, so we're going down to phase one first. So all of this used to be KNPs. Um, this is actually uh, close to the spot where they, they shot Cool Runnings, famous Jamaican movie. Okay. Yeah. So we're down to phase one. So this is phase one. Um, as you can see, well maintained lawns. These are some of the things that we actually stay on top of to make sure that these people, make sure that the residents can have an understanding that it adds value to the property when the place looks really good. Is there a monthly maintenance? The monthly maintenance is actually 8,000. So it was a contribution at first of 4,000 per month, but now it's gone to the actual maintenance of 8,000 per month. And is that based on the size of the unit or? No, unit of entitlement. So everybody pays the same same exact amount because everybody has the same amount of interest in the Except property. for the three bedrooms. They pay more. 
No, the lot size, they base it on the lot size and not the actual house. Oh, okay. So everybody so have the same lot size? have the same lot size. Okay, awesome. This is phase one. All of phase one. So what we're looking at up here, that's going to be the continuation. And that's going to be phase nine, phase seven, and then meet phase, meet phase nine around that side. So phase one and two is the only two phase that consists of two bedroom, one bath. Every other phase is two bedroom, two bath, or three bedroom, two bath. Okay. Anything to the front that is concrete or of any other nature only the only thing you can do to the front is landscaping so you can't build any fence any fence at all and no why, why, why is that so because you want to kind of maintain the property value because the minute you start say one person go build some type mm -hmm. of fence people start thinking that there is some form of reason behind them building a fence like they need protect extra protection so then people are gonna be fearful that this is a community that oh. um, is targeted in a certain way so when it looks like this it gives you the impression that listen this is a neighborhood mm -hmm. that you or you are safe. Okay. So if I'm a returning resident I can This would be the perfect place for you if you're a returning resident. Why is that? One, the the, the, the the return on the investment. Right now here, Airbnbs can go up to between 150 to 200 US a night. Wow. Okay. And regular nice. rental for the regular rental persons here are already asking for between 150 and 180 US for the month. 180,000 Jamaican dollars for the month, sorry. Which phase is this? So this is phase three. This hasn't been completely handed over as yet. So the developer is still maintaining some of these lots. As, as soon as, it's, as it is handed over, we start sending out notices to make sure that the lawn is properly cared. Um, the homeowner gets a welcome package to kind of know what's going on in the community and all of that. So here you see them, they're actually installing, no, they're actually planting grass, additional grass. So that down there, that's going to be phase six. So the color code is what? Green, blue and then yellow? Yes, yeah, we have a color that is what because it says color color scheme? Yes. to maintain the pattern so we just ask everybody to just keep it the same so over here as i said before this is going to be the commercial lot but across from the commercial lot is another open space and that area is actually zoned for a school so if the homeowners are interested in in, in getting a contractor to build a school there they can do that because it's already yeah, zoned private school private, private yes and that's it for ocean point guys Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Anybody interested, do contact Infinite Houses.
um, at Google.